What is he doing? Well, it looks like he's putting TNT on the floor, Cody. Do well, you I don't I don't know why this it, That's his house, right? Yeah. Are you trying to troll yourself? What? What what are you trying to do here? Oh, uh, nothing. Just come try to break into my house. You just You just You just You just set it off. Are you trying to secure your house and in turn you blew it up? Quite it's the interior you have here. Uh, I didn't build it. I bought it like that. Oh, oh. well. Oh. Amazon. I, well, at least you're not upset. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so we're going to teach you how to not be a noob in Minecraft, and you're going to learn some secret house defense tactics. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> secret house defense tactics. Now, if you want to see more, like this video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. It's a noob versus pro versus hacker. You guys will decide who has the best one. Wait, what's the TNT there? Oh. House to No. I'm a Sita. Now everyone, you've seen me make epic houses. Perfect time for the rain. Oh my God, I hate that. But we're just gonna keep continuing on with the intro. So you guys have seen me make epic houses before, but can I protect them with epic defenses? Um, so I'm thinking um, like a moat. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of medieval games here recently and I just love moats. So I'm gonna implement one into my house somehow. And world that it is allowed in this episode, so to quickly build our houses. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. And then we're gonna lay out the base with the concrete. Uh, 1937 is a dead number. So I don't know if I should time lapse this, but maybe I'll just lay it out first and then I'll time lapse the building up with the walls and stuff. But one three, uh, 1937 is the data value we're messing with. So we're gonna, the colors that we're gonna be using are, uh, I'm gonna make a, a white house. Not like the actual white house, just a, uh, just Hawthorne white uh, siding. Maybe, mm, let's see what we got for planks. Ooh, this, you know what, maybe birch though. Birch looks pretty good. Oh, <gasps> maybe, oh, this looks even better, like a better version of birch. So we'll go ahead and do that. I want to do a kind of a, a country club house. I don't know if that makes any sense, but basically we're gonna have, we might have to make the, uh, the, the, this platform a little bigger. How about we make it bigger and we stretch it over here a little bit. So we'll go ahead and do 1937 in a bigger rectangle. And we'll go stretch it all the way back down here. 1937, bye. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and build the right side. It's gonna basically have a right side, a middle and a left side. Uh, so we're going to do the right side first. So there we go, do that first. Well, it's gonna have a wraparound porch, how about that? We'll do a wraparound porch, that's epic. And yeah, so that is the left side. Maybe that needs to be moved back a little bit, but we can easily do that by just selecting it and then hitting move too. Uh, and then we'll do the middle. That'll come out a little bit like that. Uh, we'll put maybe slopes right there or something. And then it'll go like that. I think it'll be a little bit longer than the sides. So we'll stretch it all the way over here. Put that inward too. And then we'll do the same number. How, how, uh, how many blocks is this? You can use the the selection tool to count it, so it's eight, eight blocks long. So we're gonna make this eight blocks long as well. So this is seven right now, so we just need one more, boom, right there. And then we're gonna just basically stretch this back into kind of a rectangle house. You know, pretty normal, nothing crazy, no crazy shapes, just a nice rectangle with a an out in a middle that like kind of pops out a little bit. And then this is gonna go all the way. Actually, we can make it a bit thicker than that. We, we're hyperscale, you know, we can make a bigger house than that. Considering it has a wraparound porch too, it needs to be a little longer. So there is that right there. And then we just close this side off all the way. And then there we have our layout now. We're gonna do the floor, a wood, a nice, maybe like a nice uh, orange colored wood. No, nah, maybe this one right here, my favorite color, 83713. 83713, got it. Bam. All right, so we're just gonna, <clears throat> we're gonna build the walls up and we're gonna lay out the windows. And I'm going to do that in a time lapse because I do not want you guys to go to sleep with me just quite yet. So I'm gonna jump into this transition.
All right, guys, so we generally have the house laid out. It's a little barren right now, but you know, obviously just little things like the roof being correct everywhere and stuff like that. But we're going to start making the defenses. I was thinking kind of like a castle, th whoa, Cody's looks pretty cool actually. Uh, thinking like a castle theme where you need like a drawbridge to get across and the drawbridge bridge is gonna be like maybe right here or something, just some kind of staircase. So let's go ahead and dive into the vanishing blocks down here and we, we can go ahead and Let's go ahead and put a lava pit. No, we'll make it a water pit. I think a water pit will be fine. So we'll go ahead and select all this and we'll go expand downward 10 blocks and then we're gonna set the air. Uh, and then that's gonna be like a kind of moat that people can't jump across. So that's probably, we should probably make it one uh, wider just to make sure people can't jump across it. And then maybe I'll smooth that out with Vox Sniper or something. But we'll go ahead and lay out that. So what is this, six wide? Okay, six wide. So let's go ahead and lay out the vanishing block drawbridge. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Hopefully it makes it all the way. Does not really make it all the way, so we'll go ahead and expand this once. We'll do two, how about that? Two, and then two all the way down. Uh, so this should work fine, there we go. So we got the vanishing block drawbridge. Go ahead and stack that across, like so. One, two, three, four, five, we'll make it. Like that, and then we'll put another uh, right there, and then this will be an entrance kind of thing. Uh, so we need a lever. We need a lever now that'll kind of connect it all together. So we can put, or should we put like the drawbridge strings, I guess you can say, I guess right here. And then we'll just put a lever right there. And then, okay, so now we need to uh, find a texture that we can make this, maybe some kind of wood, maybe like darker wood. So it kind of stands out against the lighter wood background. There we go, we got some, uh, actually some spruce would be good, but let me get like a darker version of it. Maybe easy like this right here and then that. Oh yeah, that'll look pretty good. So let's go ahead and outline the edges with this kind of more crate looking one. Like so. Do all, the, all that right there. And then we'll do the middle as this wood kind of color. And we probably gotta do the underneath as well because I know there's some blocks that you can't really reach from above here, I think. Yes, so we'll do those as well, just to make sure we're covering all our bases here. And then let's go ahead and see if that works. So we gotta have that activated at all time. There's gonna be this weird like glitch right here, but that's all right. It's gonna be just a weird lighting glitch, but you know what? We'll do with what we can. So let's go ahead and do torches right here. It'll be like kind of the entrance. Like, you cannot enter my castle slash house. And then we'll go ahead and cut off six wide of this. So what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we'll go ahead and cut that off. Uh, we unfortunately have to go up here and set air to this. So this is going to kind of mess up the, the back of it. Uh, just a teeny bit, but I'm going to fix it up with voxels. So let's go ahead and count six out here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is all air. And then this will all get set to air as well. And we're gonna switch over to Voxel Sniper to make it smooth. So we'll go ahead and use a melt brush with size two. And then this will just give it some kind of a, some kind of a cave feeling. Oh my God, I think I just messed up like everything on this right here. So let's go ahead and see if I messed that up. Just a little bit, okay, that's not as bad as I thought. So let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, with these blocks, there we go, build that up, oop, just two, fix this real quick, that is my bad, I voxel snipered all over this, I didn't think it would actually hit it, but, turns out it does, so spruce wood, uh, which one was it, this one, so we'll go ahead and melt, continue melting the sides here to make it more ravine-ish, and then we'll melt these leaves just to fix up the grossness of these trees right here. And then we'll fix up this as well. I kind of like that tree there, so we'll we'll melt it a little bit more just to make it look like it's more in the terrain. Go ahead and speed three here to move around a little faster. Increase the brush size to three instead of two, so we can do it a little faster. So now it'll start, it'll start to look like more of a moat than just kind of like a random world that did thing. And then we'll, we'll do fill down there with brush size forge to pull the walls in. And then we will put water down there with crocodiles. So let's go ahead and fill it with, no, I messed it up again. Fixed, all right. <laughs> I keep doing the accident. Oh yeah, I gotta do these two. So let's go ahead and fill those in real quick. 
we'll fill in the rest of this uh, moat thing and then we'll do water so fill with water uh, maybe like 150 just to get all the sides and stuff and then let's see if we can get a crocodile oh that is a broccoli no a crocodile here we go spawn crocodile oh yeah guys oh we got some crocodiles in our boat <laughs> yeah now i'm talking so as long as they're as long as they're they stay alive down there then i guess we're solid crocodile moat yeah so we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and do a, a lift brush and then we'll push in these walls just to make it even less likely that someone can get across this thing so they can't like climb up with a ladder or something so yeah there we go now and it gives the crocodiles a little bit more room to work with instead of just being all angry fix water 50 we'll fill that in all nice like so that looks pretty cool. Heck yeah, it reminds me of like a Legend of Zelda fortress for some reason. So, nope, just gotta fix that one right there. So we got a boat. Now we gotta pull up our ladder. Well, now what we need is turrets. What a, oh, pff, I didn't do that with a vanishing block. <laughs> did that with a normal block. So let's go ahead and delete that. Pull our drawbridge in. And then now we need some turrets. Some turrets that will not actually hit Cody or Peter, because I know they don't like turrets hitting them, and the noise is really pretty annoying. So I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do for the defenses, but I'm, I'm gonna do a staircase real quick in a second floor, and then I'll see you guys just in a second. Quick transition. So guys, check out what I got for my defenses so far. I got three warthogs from the game of Halo. I thought I I, I got the get uh, the Goss Cannon. I think it's called right here. So watch this. <laughs> So if anyone even comes near my base, I can get it with the Goss Cannon. Now, I also have these spike traps, so I'm gonna place those around, kind of like the barrier. Maybe like right here, we'll have spike traps. We'll just have them all around this like grassy uh, kind of section right here. That way, if they try to jump or something, they get dinked with the spike trap and then they die. Uh, into the crocodile pit they will go. That's, that's definitely not somewhere they want to be, trust me. So we got spike traps all around the background uh, over here, and then we'll put spike traps right here. We don't really need to put them in every spot, but you know, it's it's whatever. Because we also have this barrier uh, and a fence that's about to go around it as well, so I think we have enough defenses that if they're in survival mode, there's no way they're getting in, because I mean, even if they build up all the way, uh, I can just get them with the gauze cannons, so no problem i need to make him on the roof actually that'd probably be a better spot but maybe i can make him like a sniper a sniper nest or something that'd be pretty funny all right so we got a bunch of snip, sp sniper traps or uh spike traps sniper traps uh and we got a bunch of barriers right here so that's going to be pretty dope we'll have to we can't really build anything right there because the vanishing block so we'll definitely have to watch that section a little bit better um, if they try to break in that side. So more barriers, more barriers, and then a fence that goes around. Uh, maybe we should make an electric fence actually. Yeah, electrified fence. Since we don't really need power for it, we can just wrap it around and forget about it. So let's go ahead and do that all right there. Oh, can't do it in the that spot, but that's all right. So we wrap in the electric fence. We can't do it in that spot either, dang it. It's all right, the barriers are messing me up a little bit, but it's all right. So we'll go ahead and just do the front with the electric uh, electrified fence because the back is kind of like whatever, whatever. No one's gonna break in from the back. Who actually breaks in from the back, am I right? Like, what the heck? So we're gonna go ahead and throw those right there, finish off this little section, and then I think we're like pretty much good to defend. I don't know, what, about you? what do you guys think? Look at that. That's an epic looking defensive base right there. If you, that's where you wanna be in a zombie apocalypse, I'm just saying. So maybe we'll put even an, another electrified fence around the bottom. That way, even if they do somehow make it across the moat, they will get electrified via my fence. And then I, I want to do the turrets. Trust me, I'd load the sucker up with turrets, but those turrets are just kind of like, they're kind of annoying to deal with uh, in-game. So unfortunately, we're not going to do this. But no, have no fear. We have the, uh, the Warthog turret, so we would be perfectly fine if any monster or human even thinks about approaching my base. So I'm going to finish off this one last little section and then boom, our base is pretty much done guys. So I'm going to wait for them to get finished. Kraken just looks like a normal house so far. And then I'll see you guys in a little bit later. Welcome to my humble abode. You know, I, really, uh, it, I actually really like it. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, did you build this or did you have the hacker help you? No, I built it all by myself. Uh, I, I may have looked at a couple pictures. Mm, of somebody else's house. Picture. You know what this is? It's uh, it's it's homey. 
300. Yeah, dude. It, you know, it's campy, like a log cabin. You have like 100 acres. So, no, I, I broke in already. G GM zero. Oh, GM zero. Okay. I like the roses. GM zero. Oh. That, that was not mine. That's a so, turret. Oh! oh! No, I may have grenade launchers. That, that's not mine. <laughs> Hopefully they don't blow up his base. That'd be funny. <laughs> Yes. No, I need to move my house away because my neighbors are horrible. I'm breaking in. You know what? You were building really close to me, and I was getting concerned. I bro okay. I'm in. Mike's in. <sighs> Tacos! Oh, Cody's going oh. downstairs. Oh, no. That doesn't sound good. Cody? My name not Jeff. Get out, dude. Get out. Oh! Oh! What did you... See, oh. the main plan didn't work, and I was afraid of that. That's why I added the TNT last second. Well, I can't... What'd you so do? This was supposed to de-op you over here. What? And then you were supposed to come down and you were supposed to get kicked or banned because I had a sign that said, don't touch my button. But the, the commands didn't work, the stupid commands. You were trying to de-op us and then you were trying to kick or ban. Oh my God, you know what? Yeah. Fail. Learn to hack. It failed. Ah! I got rid of him. Hello children, welcome to my actual home. Great, it looks like work. <laughs> yeah. I built your office, Kraken. I, did, I didn't build cannibals, though. He, he doesn't get an office today. Oh. Ha ha. Well, this, isn't the, this is me arriving to work, sliding down your driveway. <laughs> There's oh, snow! Oh, oh, too much of grenade! <laughs> oh, God! What is that? Yeah, there's snow on my driveway all the time, so, like, they're drifting on it. Oh! I'm trying to get in, boys! <laughs> we in this. <laughs> we in this thing. Here's Pete's office. The grenades were supposed to kill you. Let me in. Okay. <laughs> Hound dogs, go get them. Captain Winnie. Wait, what door is, is this? There? The guard dogs, they're all here. <laughs> what the heck? Get them, boys. Get he has two rooms. He's in God mode. That's why he didn't take damage. I took damage. Hack is going to hack. They're not even hitting me. Because oh, you're God. in God. No, I'm not. They're licking him. Wait, ah! what? Why aren't they eating you? They're no, nice. you're right. Captain, down. Winnie, down. Oh, dude. Tw tw like twerked it. on me for there. <laughs> what the heck? Right. Okay, so I got, I got an alarm system. I got the grenades. Now, you guys may not have noticed, but let's head over to this area right here where porch is. No! You guys can be in GM1. You don't have to be in GM1. Oh, the, the dog got hit. <laughs> I'm sorry, Captain. <laughs> Now you guys may not have noticed, but over here by Pete's <laughs> office. Well, we're good, Captain. No. <laughs> Pretty easy. Um, anyways, so yeah, when you walk on the porches, it will alert me, make me aware there's. Oh, idiots. the fireworks! That's pretty cool. Yes. Now, uh, if you walk in the middle, you'll kind of get away from that. No. Well. Uh, ah, nailed it. There was an attempt. Uh, what else do I have around? I got the alarm. I got this. Oh, and I also have security cameras uh, where I can watch you <laughs> bumbling fools try to break into my home. Wow. Dude, something's on my head. What's on your head? I, don't I, see I just seen something. I swear, dude. I don't know. A laser you probably, there it is again. <laughs> I'm bouncing around in the cameras. <laughs> what the heck was that? Right there, I'm right there. Sure. So technically your house has no defenses, right? Because we just walked right in. I mean, technically, but you weren't taking damage from the grenades oh, the or dogs. <laughs> and the dogs. The dogs were supposed to kill you if you did get in. But yeah, the release the hounds, you know, it could work. Oh god! You just so gotta weird. give them uh, some treats, and then they'll be your friend, though. Yeah, why, and the fireworks. Is... If I hit the, I hear the fireworks. I go over here and I'm like, total lever, and I'm like, wee woo, wee woo. Please don't stab me. I, I gotta make like a safe room or something like down it's here. It's so funny because room. your mailman carries around a bag of treats. Yeah, dude, he's so, he's like, okay, the dog's gonna be here, they're gonna go crazy, I just throw a couple of treats, and then they'll be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, delicious. So. so why is there three dogs? Um, there's four, actually. Wait, where's the third, where's four. the third one? Four. Hey, hey, no, don't do that. Petting it. <laughs> Cody's hey, oh, getting two more dogs, you didn't know? I hope not. <laughs> Yes, okay, so that's my house, guys. Uh, if you like it, let me know. I gotta work better on the defenses. There was only a few ideas that I could really do on that house. There's too many, too many entry points. Mm. Hold on, no flying, no flying. No flying, okay. Can we actually get into yours? Uh, I can make a little thing right here. Wink. 
There you go. There's an entrance. All right. Uh, I'm going to go up here. This is oh. how we're going to... Hey! Back it up. Back it up! I'm going to go up here. Chilling. This is my house. I'm about to have my Super Bowl party. Best party in the neighborhood, by the way. So if you want to if you want to come into my Super Bowl party, you got to get in. Um, do you have Cheetos? Mm, Ow! Cheetos, do you Doritos, have those little Fritos. tiny hot dogs? We have the Lay's. Tiny... We have, we have uh, the little, little teeny wieners. What are they, what are they called? Pigs in a blanket. Pigs in a blanket. Pigs in a blanket. Yo, we need some of the... You got a moat on your face? Dude, I'm following you. <laughs> Why are you following me? Oh, I'm with the crocodile. Oh, Ew. no. Attack. Sick him, Crocs. Go. It's okay. I'm, I, oh, oh, always oh. looking at you. Oh, man. Oh, I see an entry point. Hey. Submarining. I am an alligator. Look oh, at that, me. That, my... that, that's just a cave. <laughs> Oh, this is a Yo, you guys should have just asked for me to put the drawbridge down. I don't know why you try to do all this fancy stuff. Wait, are you kidding me? <laughs> no. You have a jawbridge? Come on in. I got I got chicken wings. Let me into the... Oh! <laughs> Come on in, neighbor. I'm making my way over to this party no matter what. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> they put me with the fishies. They're crocodiles. All right, come on in. I'll show you guys my defenses. I mean, we're neighbors, so might as well. In case any. Uh, hey, I made it. Whoa! Let's blow. Oh no! I just blew up my house. Oh, did you just? Uh, no. Got the world poopsy. Hold on, noob. Do you really like your house? What's wrong with my house? Are you kidding yeah, me? I'm I'm out. Out. Take him down. It's a raid. All right, I give you guys permission to come up here, though. That was the best thing I ever made. I should probably oh, just TP you guys here. <laughs> it's a, you had fridges down there. I so wanted to. This is my front them. entrance. Welcome to the Super Bowl party. We can play billiards if you want. We got the couches. We got the pizza. We got the drinks. What do you call it? Billiards. Billiards. It's Bill pool. Billiards. Yeah. Pool. Billiards. Pool. Billiards. billiards. Ah, ah. But They're if you guys, if you get the main show is downstairs. Follow me to my beer locker. Boom. It's a walk-in beer cooler fridge area. Wait, you don't have a bedroom? No. It's icy. Yeah, never They're all empty. Makes you feel kind of wee. They're all empty. No, we, we got to stock them. Drink this reminds me of Pokemon. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, with the Pokemon, you the sliding the uh, minigames. Mm. Yeah. Well, guys, that's been new pro hacker house events. Now, I think we all know who won this challenge. The best house, the best build. It's... Dogs. Me. I was waiting for you guys to interrupt me, but you guys know nobody did. <laughs> New pro hacker, vote in the comments. I'll catch you Atlanteans on the flip side. See ya!